Hello, and welcome to our Excel tutorial series. Today, we're going to explore a clever trick that can significantly streamline your data retrieval process. If you're working with large data sets and need to find information based on partial input, this technique is for you. We'll be looking at how to use the VLOOKUP function with wildcards for partial matches. Let's jump right in. Imagine that you're handed a spreadsheet with hundreds of employee records, spanning across various departments. Your task is to quickly find details of employees based on the last name, but here's the catch. You only have the first few letters of their surnames. Sounds like a challenge, right? Fear not, because with VLOOKUP and wildcards, this task becomes a piece of cake. Let's set up our example. Imagine we have a table of employees with the following columns. Employee ID first name, last name, and department. We'll create a hypothetical scenario where you need to find an employee's full profile just by knowing the first few letters of their last name. Our table is neatly organized, but how do we extract information when we only have partial data? Let's find out. The VLOOKUP function is a powerful tool for searching for information in a table. But did you know it can also perform partial matches? This is where wildcards come in handy. An asterisk is a wildcard that can substitute for any sequence of characters. Suppose you only remember that an employee's last name starts with though. You can set up your VLOOKUP function like this. Equals VLOOKUP though A1 laughing face 100, 2 false. This formula will search the last name column for any name starting with though and return the corresponding value from the specified column. False argument ensures an exact match to the pattern. While this method is efficient, be cautious with duplicates. If though matches Thompson and Thompson, only the first occurrence will be returned. What if you want to extract different pieces of information? Just change the column index number in your VLOOKUP function. Here's how you can retrieve the employee ID, first name, and department. If you want to retrieve the last name, you can issue the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP Though A1 laughing face 100 1 false If you want to retrieve the employee ID, you can issue the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP Though A1 laughing face 100 3 false If you want to retrieve the employee ID, you can issue the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP Though a1 laughing face 100, 4, false. Now, for a more complex search, imagine you want to find all employees with son in their last name, regardless of where son appears. You'd use a contains type match equals VLOOKUP son A1 laughing face 100, 2, false. This formula will find any last name containing son. For those using Excel 365, the filter function is a game changer. It can return all matches for a search term, not just the first one. Here's a taste of its syntax. Equals filter. A2 laughing face 100 is number search son. A2. A100. This filter function will return all rows where the last name contains son. And there you have it, folks. With VLOOKUP and wildcards, you've got a powerful method for partial matches in your lookups. And with Excel 365's filter function, you can handle even more complex data retrieval tasks with ease. Remember, mastering these functions can save you hours of manual searching. Thanks for tuning in to our tutorial. If you've enjoyed this and want more Excel magic, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.